Hey guys, it's Eric. Glenda. We are D&D &D Miniature and Board Games. So, as normal, when I get my Kickstarters in, we go we ahead and we open it. it. That's right. In front of everybody. Well, for everybody to see. So, yesterday I received 65. You said Kickstarter, right? Yes, it's a Kickstarter. Wow. This is uh, one of Mark Walker Walker's games. Uh, I'm going to say go over it. <laughs> Walker. Walker. He's brought us things like Old School Tactical. Um, it's a Old School Tactical is World War II. Night of Man, it's a sci-fi hmm. man versus aliens. And now he's done a squad level combat based in Vietnam. Now when I saw this, I was, I was pretty interested because, you know, I really don't have anything that's Vietnam based. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing that I have some, like, misgivings about is that it seems it's card driven instead of using oh. dice. Course, I'm not sure how that. Real, like, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how that how that really works. Well, I'm about to find out. So it's when I get digging into the rules, I'll be able to see that. So how did it go on its Kickstarter? Though? Do you know? Do you remember? Um, it went pretty good. Uh, it unlocked several of the unlocks, especially uh, especially some of the extra maps and things like that. So we're talking about the Vietnam War. Yes. Interesting. This might be a very controversial game. <laughs> so, as I said, uh, it's card driven. Mm -hmm. So, first thing out are obviously cards. A set of cards. In the jungles of Vietnam. <clears throat> Bloody cards. Is that blood really supposedly? Mm, uh, no, map? that's Vietnam. Oh, that's the map? No. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's a street, that's why. So I'm assuming that these are the cards you use to decide who moves and fights and everything. Um, and oh, yeah. then you've got bonus victory condition cards. So, lots of cards. What are you pointing at? Oh, right. wow. So, uh, Flying Pig Games, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, 65. So, the rule book. Oh, wow. You don't need glasses for that. <laughs> They look like they're eye friendly. Hmm. No, really, they are. Hey, Eric, these cards are so light. I mean, all together. Huh. And they're uh, this this looks pretty in depth. He's got he's got a lot of work done into this. But from what I've seen with the um, old school tactical, it's the same way. And I believe these are quick reference sheets. Which is always helpful. Mm hmm Cheat cards. And the counters. That was one thing I said that uh, some of the reviews I saw that they were surprised how large the counters were. So you got your Hueys, your tanks, trucks, uh, Bunkers, barbed wire. Oh, look at that flag! Yep. And then uh, the Vietnamese forces are here. Some more Vietnamese forces, American forces, um, zappers. Cool. Pretty good stock. Mm -hmm. Pretty thick card uh, counters. And the maps. So there should be three of these in the base game that you can add together. Put them all together as one game, one game yeah. or just Let's one. Put that over there for now. So you got your first one. Let's 
second one. Is it double sided? No, these are single side. So. Anyway. Yeah, it so gives you a pretty good sized board. Uh, this would be a uh, basically jungle Vietnamese village style fighting here. Let's sneak a hot, 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 hot. So that's just that's just in the base game. So this is the map pack that you got for stretch goals. And of course we, we have that. Well these are stretch goals, yes. I don't have to pay anything extra. That was the thing, I don't remember there even being add-ons for this game. I think it so was just whatever you whatever it opened. Which is good. Uh, it gives you city map scenarios. So, and this one. Wow. <clears throat> That's pretty big. It's nice though. There you go. Now we see Vietnam. <laughs> All right. So Keep it coming. next we have the United States Marine Corps and the Anzacs. Oh, uh, it should just be the counters for the Marines and the Australian forces. Yeah. More time. And obviously the rules to use them. So, yeah, so you got your uh, different rules for them. They really look, look retro. <laughs> you know, it's really nice. Alright, so with this we got the, uh, the Cobra attack choppers, Centurion tanks, different transports, your marine units. Uh, so it's got civilians. And I'm assuming these are the Anzac, the Australian forces. And some more. Uh. It's Nicole Pop Jones. Another set of cards. Which later on you'll figure out how to play. Punji sticks and claymores. <gasps> Came off. Sudden downpour, recon patrol, sneak, scrap, and tactics. So, I'll just put those right there because they're going to mix in anyways. And Alone in the Jungle. So, this, now I know, yeah, Solitaire. This was probably for the, you can play the solo. Hmm. So, which means you can just play it by yourself. Sad. <laughs> just sad. Sorry. You're not playing me. No, actually, it's designed for that. I mean, I understand yeah. it. I know. Well, you know, a lot of times, you know, I mean, think about my schedule. This is something on one of my days off during the week. I can play when everybody's at work. Yeah, true. It's All right. work. You know, work to do. So. Oh my god. We're trying. We're getting there. So. A uh, couple of hexes that you can put on to add huts or. Grass? Yeah. Or larger buildings. And then you've got your, uh, I'm, I'm assuming, revealed where if you're playing solitaire, you can have hidden forces and things like that. Not know what's actually there until you walk up on it. Surprise! But and, this is the idea, right? Yep. Is that the last one? Yeah. These are for the uh, solitaire game.
So does it give you that feel of the game? Even though you haven't, you know, you just know about it, but just looking at that whole thing. What do you mean feel of the game? The, the theme or, you know, what the game is about when you open that. Yeah, I, I mean, so. yeah, I mean, it gives me the, yeah. the Vietnam, and it also takes me back to, because I, I played counter games, it's one of the things I started out on, um, War of Sea, War of the Falklands, a couple other different counter games that I've actually got that, you know, they're in the background someplace. Um, so, for me, I like counter games, and it usually is cheaper than miniature games because you know it's just I know you're talking about counter games and it's so strange to me what counter games because are because you've never actually Correct. played one uh -huh, uh -huh. well guess uh, why but apparently I am going to learn how to play counter games <laughs> it's different you'll like it maybe but anyways guys that's uh, 65 by uh, Mark Walker I just keep wanting to say Wahlberg Walker wow sorry Mark but um, <laughs> Uh, if you like what you see, looks good. I will have a link to uh, the company's webpage so you can go on there. I do believe that you can order this now we along can. with the uh, oh god, old school tactical, the World mm -hmm. War Two version, and also the uh, Knight of Man sci-fi version of the ga of his games. Um, as always, guys, support your local gaming. We support Discover Games, Fayetteville, Georgia, and as always, game on. Game on.